Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 114 of Frost and Fire. Last episode, the quickest recap is that I called in some exotic goods traders in hopes to be able to buy an organ that I'm missing in my colony. And it did not go well for the exotic goods traders. Uh, they sort of face planted straight into the mech cluster and this is some of the result of that. We did also take on a quest to fulfill a whole bunch of uh, gladiuses in order to get a neuroformer. So that's one of the first things I'm going to do right at the start. It should take me only moments uh, because Hippie here has far skip. So let's get that done before I forget. Hippie and Gladius. That's all of them. Are going to hop into the pod. Just that simple. Now we're trying to do our very best in repairing and upkeeping this kill box here uh, so that it's ready for future incursions. It has been a little tricky. I will, I will admit it has been a little tricky. Uh, but as soon as this all gets repaired up, uh, we then can focus back on researching ship parts and getting the ship going. So let's take a look at that. I have the reactor and I have about a little over half of the uh, Johnson Tanaka drive, the engines. Then what we have left is the sensors, the persuasion and or computer really, and the crypto sleep caskets. We're heading into the winter, but I did try to call additional uh, traders because I'm still, of course, interested in those organs. So they should be coming unless it gets too cold too quickly, uh, causing the traders to turn back. Ooh, Hippie has food poisoning. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. All right, let me help her out with loading up the Gladius request with everybody else because she's not exactly going to be deemed being able to do it herself in a reasonable time frame. Plus, uh, it's sort of for Storbeck, so Storbeck should be the one to do it. Oh, hurling on the pod. Gnarly. I'm also going to turn off these here in order to try to get uh, Leth and Gabe to haul it. So if we take a quick look at Leth and Gabe, I'm going to increase their haul desire um, so they might help with actually moving some goods around. Uh, I think I have the, yep, all but one loaded in. And we should be off. Contents, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why does it say launched in progress? Oh, cause Hippie's not in yet. Yep, she's trying to eat. And there she goes. So just to make sure I have the right place, <laughs> cause that would be upsetting. Uh, thin to ban or whatever it's called. All right, launch. It was here and we are going to visit. Fulfill the trade offer. Let's look at what they have to sell because I am in need of an organ, uh, but no, they do not. Okay, well, off we go. Cancel, far skip, home. Bash is like, what the hell? And then, Storbeck, upgrade your Psylink. Boom. You have now gained words of inspiration. 
Okay, not entirely sure that is helpful at the moment, but uh, happy to have it, I guess. So we have a lot more cleaning up to do, and that's going to be important to do. A lot of repairs as well. Getting all the steel stockpiled for crafting and construction so that JED could do that. Uh, Leth and Gabe still hauling. All right, now they're off to hauling slag, which is an improvement. And then hopefully they will be hauling the steel that's down here. I don't really need to mine it up so much as I need to just move it from point A to point B. Okay, I do have uh, Raptor's desired side focus really low in hopes that uh, he gets more research done. It does risk us a little bit because that is one less Psycaster that I have to protect us. So with that in mind, I'm going to have him sit on that throne and gain a little faster. I think that's uh, honestly my main concern. Right, JD is... Cranking through the backlog of shells that I wanted. And we have an exotic goods merchant from the machinists uh, immediately getting shot. Let me check. Bonic Eye. I don't see that they have a kidney or lungs for that matter. So. Oh, and the Shaman Merchant coming in at the same spot. They have an Incendi Lance. And Soothers and sh Shock Lances. Uh, I think at this point, I am going to send Bash and Phoenix to go help them. Uh, because the Lomex Shield is going to absorb basically everything that... Oh no, these tribals have a bunch of brawlers. The uh, Psychic Suppressor is now destroyed. And here is the Imperial Trader. This time, the Imperial Trader are the smart ones. They're not coming face first in. They have Coagulators, Harmonizers, Amino Enhancers, Advanced Components, Weapons, but no, no one has organs. All right, well, Phoenix will be done with this turret soon. There it is. And then let's sneak up this left route and get the Inferno. Oh, uh, there's a mini turret here that's... Okay, done. Uh, we could also take out the low mech shield. needs help you death in two hours I don't okay I'll try but no promises all right uh, the other thing I could do is to claim these unstable power cells because I had lost some in the past trying to power up a uh, uh, various things like uh, smelters, etc. And I think at this point we can go unrestricted because there's no longer threats on the map tile. Thanks mostly to these traders. And that is why I will try to save them. So, if I'm trying to rescue this guy here, let me get rid of Area 1 and put a new one down. I'm going to zone restrict myself to Area 1. And rescue Gotranio. And then I will eventually carry him to proper 
hospital or something. And I'll probably what I'll have Bash do is sit around here, uh, making sure that no one else collapses. As I said, I did feel bad about putting these guys through hell. Um, these traitors. But hey. They showed up. And then I showed up. Okay, I'm going to have Phoenix go back for the other unstable power cell. Looks to me like uh, everyone else is going to manage to patch themselves up. So, get rid of Area 1 and rescue Gotranio properly. Haul him, hauling him over. I'll have to keep watch here because, you know, there's still the possibility of uh, these other people that came to visit uh, toppling over. In fact, I probably should do the trades ASAP. It is very cold and I don't suspect that they will stick around much longer. So I have uh, Raptor going out here. The Sacrosooth Mail is going to definitely help. Alright, here is the two. And yes, okay, as suspected, they are already leaving. As is the Machinists. The Machinists are going to leave before I'm even able to trade with them because they're at the edge of the map already. That Doomsday Launcher would have been nice, but I already have like five or six. All right, so this is the tribal. I can sell the pemmican and pack of survival meals. Um, I will also sell all the herbal. At this point, I don't really need a giant stockpile of herbal. Selling the flake. Buying a soother. Hmm. Yep. That'll do, I guess. And the Imperial Trader is going to. Uh, Storbeck had an inspired trade. Is Storbeck close to this Imperial Trader? Not close enough. Nope, couldn't get there. Oh well. None of them, we had already confirmed, none of them had organs. So. In the scheme of things, it wasn't that big of a deal. Alright, I am watching to make sure that none else topple over. Oh, like Gray did. Let me go rescue Gray. And this will be good for a relationship. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is uh, pile up the dead. Just call it Rot Dead, I guess. Pile up the dead, rotten corpses, uh, so that I can dispose of them. I don't know. Dispose of them somehow. Okay, we probably have enough shells. Yeah, 20 is fine. And I'm not going to bother with... Oh, well, maybe I want flak vests. Make sure that everyone at least has one. Okay, uh, JD doesn't have one, so I will make the flak vests and EMP shells. Raptor can use silver drop. There it is. Alright, Bash. And Gabe. You are not in the best of moods. Just having to see all these corpses here. Oh, you're not rotted yet. Uh, I will also allow fresh corpses and we'll just do only human-like. Whatever happened to the one that we rescued? 
got patched up. Good. Good, good, good. Animals. You are going to be on unrestricted animal hauling. And unrestricted animal hauling is going to expand. We're going to allow you to go anywhere you please at this point. Except for the deadfall traps and inside the base. And then I can also update the avoid zone so that I can use it again. Well, actually, the avoid zone is basically a include all zone. Um, but whatever. It's updated anyway. Gonna do a quick health check of stuff in. Ah, everything's repaired. This isn't. So we still have some. Some unrepaired stuff in the kill box, but the vast majority of it is repaired. All right, store back. I am going to have you take care of these corpses. Why you? Why not? I suppose there was Molotovs right there, but I'm not really sure that the Reaper corpses can be set on fire. I think we're done. Uh, while you're out here, might as well haul Packer Survival Meals home. Oh, there are a whole bunch more corpses. All right, let me gather them up while he has the hand grenades. And then there's this guy too. And these guys. I did not look very closely. All right, Raptor can now freely use transport shuttle. If I need a shuttle anywhere. Bash is breaking down the met cluster. Are you done? You are not. Freeing up space for Randy to undoubtedly just send another met cl cluster at me. Just being realistic here. That is done. Let's take the meals and switch the gun back. I can leave the zone just in case there's other uh, human like corpses. Well, I suppose I could go to numbers and switch over to corpses. And yeah, there's a few corpses still. Seems to be four left on the map tile. All right, who's in a good mood? Hippie, you are in a fantastically good mood. But you are also sci focus gaining, so I will leave you alone. So here's one, two, three, and That is every remaining corpse left. All right, JD is now working on the fra uh, flak vests. I'm gonna have him foray towards the corpses and take care of them. And a cargo pod of bone dog meat fallen from the sky. Sketchy. Bash of Phoenix, making sure that our kill box is in tip-top shape. Alright. My guilt has been hidden. Gertranio 
he's no longer capable of walking. But still, we're not going to kick him out just yet. And let's get flak besting. So the name of the game now is uh, Research Progress. And just tidying up what's out here. We're hauling uh, Scyther corpses and the like. Oh boy, that's a lot. I think what I'll do is temporarily put... Maybe bat... Uh, no, not Raptor. Uh, yeah, Phoenix. I'm going to temporarily put Phoenix on Smith. So that Phoenix can shred those. Because it doesn't really need to be JD. JD can be left to work on Flakfest instead. And this bill is one away from done. Alright, seeing that Bash is now cleaning... Oh, no, that's odd. Ah, not in the home area. Okay, I was like, if he's cleaning, that means I'm fully repaired. But that's not necessarily true, because I forgot to put things in home zones. That would be on me. Alright, I think now we're squared away. Yep, I think we're... we're good. Everything's recovered. Nice. So a few more walls around the autocannon turrets, but that's about it. Nearing the end there. One of the things I wanted to check here is records. So, JD has killed 122 mechanoids. Gabe, 107. Uh, Hippie, 76. Raptor 64, which is actually remarkably high considering he's a brawler. Storbeck 33. Yeah, we have had to kill a lot. Now, if I go to records all kills. Ooh, JD 365. Been a little busy, have you? It does make sense. He, his primary everyday gun is a legendary quality charge rifle but oh my goodness I wonder why there's enemy downs mechanoids they kind of don't get downed what about uh, damage dealt and damage taken so unsurprisingly Storbeck being the newest member of our group has taken the least left it actually is almost in the order of how long they've been. So Bash, Raptor, JD, and Gabe are the oldest in this colony. In fact, we can uh, times as spent as a colonist. All right, yeah, here's you can see 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. So it makes sense that they would have the most damage taken and dealt. And then Phoenix and Hippie, Entering the same year, and then Leth, and then Storbeck. How are you? St oh, I'm probably out of fine meals. Yes, I am. All meals. And let's turn on that, uh, that their kitchen stove, because it's not going to be a good time if we're starving to death. So I still don't have a lot of steel built up. Um, but the this zone here can go back to low, as can this one. We have all the shells that we want. I only made up to 20. I think that's fine. 
In fact, I'm going to have Hippie load these mortars so that they're ready to fire when I need them next. Because they take, they take a little bit to load up. A meteorite of ancient metal, okay. Worthless. Okay, now they're all loaded. It does mean that I don't have... I need to make one more shell, but here Phoenix is doing it. Alright, Mr. Phoenix, you now no longer have to smith. You're going to be constructing and growing back on your normal queue. Gray is going to be leaving the map tile. My only worry for these guys is temperature. I'm a little worried about um, them not making it out because of how cold it is. But I'll keep an eye on them. Gatranio is really honestly going to have a hard time of it. Uh, the longer Gatranio waits, the colder it gets, the colder it gets, the harder it will be to leave. Alright, I am going to suspend the flak vests. I think we have enough. Really? Wait, for, for real? I only have one spare? Never mind. I take that back. I've been seeing JD make flak vests over and over and over, so I just sort of assumed we had enough, but uh, I was dead wrong. So this is the remaining repairs uh, that recently got added. And we are down to our last meets now. Maverick, a heart attack. Oh, don't, buddy. You'll... <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost off. Don't have a heart attack now. Right. Animal sleep spot. I'll put there. Let's zone Maverick to it and have raptor tend maverick with uh, legit medicine keep him alive you sir are making it off this planet there we are back to unrestricted hauling good to know that maverick is now a ticking time bomb of age related health conditions uh we're going to have to be mindful of that. Our research pushed up about three-fourths. Okay. And now, flak vests have been fulfilled. Let's turn that off. I think, JD, I'm going to force you to finish whatever this is. What is this? A corset? And then make no more. <laughs> As I make one more. All right. There we go. Everything's getting sorted away. Uh, my meats in the kitchen here are going to be largely placed with uh, potatoes or veggies. I have a lot of heaters on for rooms I'm no longer really using. Uh, but I guess that's fine. I have the power for it. In fact, I just expanded the power grid by 100 watts. And Maverick, despite the heart attack, uh, just got pregnant. Okay. Maybe the two are related. Doing a pretty good job of hauling all this steel away. Is there steel closer? See, this steel would be a little bit easier to haul. Um... Perhaps... I try to make use of that steel. Because the amount of walking that needs doing uh, does matter. Uh, 
but it also depends on overhead mountain. So yeah, that is as deep as we could go without running into overhead mountain issues. Which could be fine. I'm not really sure. Alright, there we are. Build the roof there, and maybe move the steel drills. Yeah, there's enough steel there for the ship that I don't really have to go any deeper into the mountain. And then the heater will produce heat because that's a pretty small room. All right, looks like the turret reloading uh, stockpiles are getting replenished. I'm actually going to shrink them down as now I am no longer defending against the death swarms that I was before. So we don't need quite as much as we had during the, uh, the reactor raids. So these zones are going to... Dramatically shrink. And some I'm going to entirely get rid of. So there we are. All right, Catranio, you really want to get up now. You wait any longer, you're never going to make it out as a result of a frostbite and being ridiculously cold. Okay, so here Catranio goes. Catranio should make it out. He's wearing a parka, but... We're heading towards the frigid, frigid temperatures of the winter. So it's important to leave now and not wait. Don't. Oh. Hang on. I like how Gabe moved just perfectly enough to uh, block the, um, the building of that wall to keep the area a little bit warmer and lit. All right, JD is back to making advanced components uh, so that we can, you know, build the ship a little faster. Uh, taking quick stock of the condition of... Oh, we're going to need a prestige cataphract helmet out of you yet. Looks like uh, Storbeck's about to decay his... The Eltex shirts. Okay, so Storbeck doesn't care about the Eltex shirt. All right, good. And Gatranio exited healthy, so uh, a little bit more relationship up to a hundred. Nice. And what's going on with this? Oh, that would explain it. It was suspended. I kept right-clicking on it, like, all right, hopefully my guys will start doing their uh, slagging, but it was suspended, so. I guess that bone dog meat that dropped from the sky is going to come in handy because we're almost out of meat. And this... I guess is a really good example. Um, I had a lot of people early on in the series ask me why I wasn't making fine meals. Uh, it seemed like I had a lot of meat and it was because with really no wildlife, you know, this is a mechanoid hive planet. There are, there really aren't uh, a lot of wildlife to hunt. The problem was that, yeah, it was, uh, it was a little risky to be you know, trying to 
feed ourselves, find meals all the time because we'd run out of meat. So I reserved all the all the meat and all the fine meals for the reactor raids to bolster mood. And uh, here we are just a few days after the reactor raid, and I'm basically down to not enough meat to feed anyone anymore. In fact, I would go so far as to say it might be a good idea for me to get my potatoes back on. Or for now, rice, perhaps? Because my potato uh, amount is dropping pretty fast. And so is Psychic Tea. Not so much beer, but let me do a run over here of tea. Because, uh, yeah, we don't really want to have, we don't want to run out right at the goal post. That'd be pretty silly. What are these basins doing? Why can't I turn them on? There you go. They're acting weird. There we go. Oh, because there's some strange dead power. It doesn't matter. It's all set now. I also uh, have set Cauterize and Angelia to stay in the base because it's too cold for uh, crabs to be out now. It's a health risk. All right, the Prestige Helmet get made by JD, and then Raptor is just about wrapping up with the Johnson Tanaka drives. And then we'll probably do the Vacuum Crypto Sleep Caskets next. Almost certainly. Haha, <laughs> we have filled the room with steel that's what i like to see looks ridiculous and we've processed through all of the slag all right so here is uh the next helmet that we're gonna use we can also switch back to the prestige recon armor instead of the uh, phoenix armor oh no i had helmets and okay i'm an idiot I had helmets in reserve and ignored that. All right, animals get safe. Let's clean up this uh, infestation as fast as we can. This is a too deep infestation, so it won't be large. In fact, bash. Oh my goodness. Go do something else somewhere else. Zerked a whole bunch of them, so they're going to shred each other before they come for me. And that's it. We're done. Easy as that. All right, let's add it back to home zone. And these bugs, I suppose, could be set up to be butchered. Um, I'm going to haul their corpses over because I might want the nutrient paste. Probably not, given the, the still the ridiculous quality that I have. Uh, I don't know why I didn't turn off my AC up there, but it's off now. And the fire foam is finally sort of dissipating. It takes a while. Ooh. 
Ooh, a solar flare. That is pretty nasty. Um, Raptor and Starback are going to have to change headwear. Or put on parkas, one or the other. I haven't put on parkas. This is going to get too cold. And then Angelia and Cauterize, uh, you two are going to be moved into this spot. Because otherwise, you're going to freeze to death. There you go. Sit tight. Nasty, because, uh, you know, all of my plants in my basins are going to die. I had just replanted. And now, rip. All those plants gone. Yep. But the crabs are healthy. Raptor getting an inspired trade. Maybe I'll get an orbital trader or something. I guess the uh, solar flare did allow us to do a whole lot of hauling. Don't know if that matters all that much. I would have much preferred to uh, get more research done. And it's kind of a lengthy solar flare, too. I'm going to keep Raptor and uh, Storbeck in the parkas, though, I think. That's going to be a permanent change to their clothing, getting them out of the Phoenix armor, which makes them a lot slower and more inefficient. All right, Solar Flare, you stuck around for half a day now. You could go away. Thank you. It's almost as if you listened to me. That was kind of strange. All right, base will warm back up. The Crabbers are going to be put back. Grillos, now that I don't have an infestation, can go back to uh, hauling. And we'll have to replant everything. Which is annoying. <laughs> Just cranking through the steel. Alright, so our steel amount is obviously going up a lot. Uh, because of the slag and hauling and mining. Um, almost to a point where maybe I don't need it. But let's start prepping for the ship. So, there is no roof over here. That's good. Obviously, I don't want to break down the reactor. That would be so tragic. Um, ship landing beacons. Uh, I think instead of... Uh, instead of destroying them, I'm just going to move them. I'm going to move the landing pad over here in case I need it. I don't know why I would, but in case I do... We'll conserve it. Because obviously this is going to be built for the uh, the ship area. All right, this Plasteel Mini turret. Let's put... Uh, I don't know, right here seems okay. With some dead power underneath it. And then that turret's fine where it is. Okay. We now have a ship landing beacon set up. It doesn't really need the steel landing pad. That's just mostly for aesthetics. Here is the reactor. And the Johnson Tanaka drives are moments away from being done. Where we'll do caskets next. But that is all the time I have. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for sticking around for 114 hours of frost and fire. I hope to have a 
I don't know, a positive conclusion to the series as long as it has been going. I'll catch you next episode. Thank you for watching. Farewell.